Hi everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today we are planning my currently page for the month of March in 2022. So I have some fun sticker books pulled out here. I have the newer Wild Styled, the original Wild Styled, and Color Story 2, which has some where some Wild Styled stickers in them. So I'm going to be kind of doing a combination of these. Um, you will see my March monthly is also using wild styled stickers and I kind of just wanted it to be, I wanted them to be matching. I feel like I might have made them matching in January. Yes, in January I matched my monthly and my currently and I wanted to do the same thing in March. So I'm going to first take this little sticker strip and put it right over here and then trim it off. I like the way that I've been segmenting my currently page. It's working for me. And so I kind of want to do, um, I think I have talked about this in February, the same thing in terms of breaking it out into these into three separate sections. So the first section was a quote. The second one are goals because this has priorities and goals, and then important dates down here. So the quote is going to sort of be my motto for the month. And for March, it is going to be, actually it comes from a fortune cookie that I, um, I got recently. So March, um, let me just, okay, just kind of like figuring this out. So, Happiness, is a, and then I'm going to switch pens, journey. And let's fix this J a little bit. Okay. Not a destination. Sorry, I'm going slowly. I just don't want to make a spelling error while I talk through it. Okay. okay, happiness is a journey, not a destination. I could have made that a little bit neater. This is kind of looking crooked, but we are going to go with it. All right, now I need a couple of bullets in terms of goals or things that I want to accomplish. So. I'm looking for like this beige -ish color, this like tan beige color in terms of bullet points. So let's go through this book and then I don't know that this would have any left, but I can probably flip through this one a little bit easier. You know when you like break in the sticker book and then it just becomes much easier to <laughs> flip through than in the beginning? Yeah, this one is pretty, pretty used. There's these little gold ones. Oh, perfect. These are ideal. So, um, March. All right, let's take these checks. I like them. All right, I'm gonna do one, two, and three. Okay, now goals for the month are going to be file taxes. Organize.
um, living room closet. I have a massive closet in my living room. It's like a walk-in and there's just a lot of stuff in there right now and it needs to be organized like shoes, coats, extra planner stuff that's not in my office like that I pull regularly. Health, it, there's just, there's a lot of stuff. And then I'm actually going to move this bullet down. Um, in March, I would like to, how many weeks are there in March? Let me look at, glance at my calendar. One, two, three, four. I would like to read six books in March. Which is what? One every five days. Understanding also that when I'm in California for six days, I'm not going to be reading aside from on the plane. So those are going to be the goals. And then I want to put some important dates down here. So let me look for some box stickers. And I'm looking for kind of like smaller ones that I can... Fit, um, let's see, California, oral surgery. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit birthdays on here, but they're in my monthly, so that's okay. Uh, California, oral surgery. And I was just deciding on maybe Zoom events. I have a lot in, in my monthly. So these are a little bit wider than I want. I'd like them to be a little bit smaller. I could maybe use these. Or I can just bring in black boxes. So let's, these are a little bit too big. So wait, California and oral surgery. I feel like those are the only dates that I need to really know in this, or at least note in this. So, hmm, let me think. All right, I decided I was going to pull out just two regular black box stickers. These are from Mojo Jojo Plans black boxes sticker book. And I'm going to take that one there. We'll put this one over here. And then just to add a little bit more fun to these stickers, I'm going to think, let's see, I'm going to take this sticker and cut it so that I sort of have like a washi strip here. and put these like right on the side here. Just to add a little pizzazz to the boxes. And I might do that when I include more boxes on this side of the currently page as well. So let's get this down. Okay, now I wanna put this little piece aside because I'm going to need that. So, um, California, is, let's see, March 2nd through 7th. And then oral surgery. is March 25th. Okay, now this side of the page is done. We need to have some fun up here. So I'm also grabbing Wild Styled and I'm gonna bring in these leopard or animal print. I don't know what animal it is. Let me know if you know what animal it is. And I feel like I need a couple of these. Unless, oh, you know what? I just remembered. Let's take this off. I hope it's not too late. Oh, that peeled up really easily. Okay, so this one has all black. Yes, over here. So we're going to use these instead. And I think the key here might be cutting this in half. So if I cut that, it should be able to be big enough 
to go on the other side too. Maximizing your stickers. 101. doesn't go all the way here, but I don't know that that necessarily bothers me. And then I'm going to do the same thing over at the top. So I know sometimes I'll cut these stickers just like holding them freehand, but if it's already on the page, I should be able to get a more even cut this way. Okay, and then we'll bring this one in. right over here. It's just a tiny little bit that went onto this punch. Okay. Whew. There we go. Now let's write currently. So I think I might just write it, but first, because we know that I can't write with a, sh I can't draw a straight line. I can't write a straight line write a straight line. I can't write in a straight line. Like what was wrong with that phrasing? I'm going to put my ruler here and then write currently. And I might bring in another one of these strips or something to go underneath it. So I'm just going to do big letters here. I might end up making them bolder as I'm realizing that this is a little bit finer point. Okay, I think I will go over this again, but the Papermate Flare sometimes takes a little bit to dry and I don't wanna smudge it, so I'm gonna wait a minute and then go over that again. Okay, so I feel like it looks better now that I've gone over it. And then I'm going to bring in this beige one again, and we are going to just kind of underline that currently just to make it stand out a little bit. Okay, so, whoops. Oh, oh, you see what I just did there? That's why you wait because I just smudged that. So it's fine. Um, and now I think I'm going to do a combination of boxes and sort of change it up a little bit. So I noticed as I was looking through here that there were some different kind of shapes. So I want to bring this one in over here and then looking for like a little bit of a header box, like one of these. So let's put this one down and I'm going to write um, excited. Uh, four. And in March, my best friend is having her first baby. So what do I write? Excited for Melanie's baby to be born. I, Melanie, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll write it that way. I feel like I'm becoming an aunt all over again. Baby. I feel like to be born is awkward. Melanie's baby is coming. Melanie's baby is arriving. Melanie's baby's birth. Maybe we're just going to write Melanie's baby. And then when she has the baby, I'll fill in the date there of his birth. And then let me just take these out because I want, I'm want. i going to want to use some more of these guys in here. Um, I like the idea of this. So I'm gonna bring this one in. Hmm. Let's see where this is gonna work space-wise because if I just bring it right over here, then I'll have a lot of extra room there. I'm gonna remove the this week part so you can disregard that. But if I put it over here, then there's a lot. It's okay to have space in your planner. 
So this is going to go here. And this will go right here. Okay. So um, I'm going to write go wild moments and then after go wild. I'll fill this in. So some of this is being filled in before, but some is just not going to be able to be filled in before because I haven't uh, gone on the trip yet. All right, now I'm thinking that I want to include, although I don't know if it's, I think it might be too big, but I was thinking I wanted this in here. So if I do that, I'm going to need to move this down. I'm going to grab my wax paper so I can kind of measure these out and see if I have enough room for both because I would like to use both. So if I put that there, it's going to have, mm, it's going to be too far. I could layer it. So let me, I feel like this is very big. It's too big. We're not going to do that. Instead, I put this here. Then this piece can go back over here. Sorry, my desk got a little shaky there. And then I don't really like this. I don't know that I need this on every header. Um, I also have this sticker that was on, honestly, it was on my ring light. I don't remember what spread it came off of. Oh, no, now, now I remember. But it's like, it's there, so we may as well use it. But I just realized it came from Bold and Blush. So I bet I can grab another box from Bold and Blush. Yeah, it was one of those. Um, this might be a little bit too big. Hmm, it's going to be too big. Doesn't mean these can't layer. Would this be too big? Um, this needs to go down a little bit more. I don't know that that's going to work. Let's go back. There's this like pinkish, which is kind of fun because this one sort of has, yeah, that's almost like the exact same color. So this is gonna layer a tiny bit so that it doesn't go over the punch. All right. So I'm these, I think I'm really going to fill in throughout the month. Um, I don't know that I want to pre-fill besides this part. So I think that's it. Let me know your thoughts. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.